and welcome to Nutridor Abivia presents Colors Food Trail brought to you by our hygiene partners Clorox in association with Moksh Restaurant and Lounge Pinar Niso Salt and Arm and Hammer Baking Soda Well you know the thing about street food is what's magical about it is that spiciness that flavor that tanginess but will we be able to keep the authenticity of street food as we travel around the world well that's an adventure that we're yet to discover on today's episode but first of all let's find out who our guest is hi my name is ritu pamnani and i'm a dubai based content creator I mostly do fashion and beauty content and I love sharing everything uh, related to fashion and beauty on my social media. I feel like my world revolves around social media and I love my Insta fam for that. Well, food is a huge part of my life because I am a vegan and I know a lot of people think veganism is just salads and smoothies but it's so much more than that and I enjoy food so much. I love chaats, I love Indian food especially like South Indian food is like literally my favorite. So I always find alternatives uh, for vegan food into my charts and my South Indian food. So that's why I love food. Traveling, I feel it's such a huge teacher in your life. If you don't travel, I feel you haven't learned anything. So if you travel to a country, you learn so much about that country. If you travel to another country, you learn so much. So I feel like it's your personal growth, and everybody should travel at least to few countries in their life. And the two wonderful people by my side. Let's start with Chef Abs. Thank Now you. you may or may not have been on a plane this year, but this man will take you on a culinary journey around the world, from Latin America oh. to Japan, from Europe to um, I don't know Thailand. He can Many take countries. you anywhere, yeah. anywhere yeah. through the magic of what he does with his food. And of course, the wonderful Ritu Pamnani, who you follow on Instagram, I'm pretty sure, and you love her for all her beauty <laughs> and all her fashion, and also telling us how. and why she does what she does absolutely right? <laughs> absolutely <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about your online life though ritu when did you start so i think i started around when i was uh, in 2010 basically so i started as a model so i as a model i used to share a lot of my fashion uh, behind the scenes and my makeup so my audience uh, really got interested you know what brand i'm wearing and what makeup i'm using so i think it just became a trend that influencer trend that you call nowadays yeah. so i call myself a content creator because i love creating content around fashion and makeup so i think my whole life revolves around uh, fashion <laughs> and makeup and instagram and of course for today food yes so tell us ritu when you finish a long day of shooting what's your comfort food what is that one thing that you crave that you would eat at any time of the day or night oh my god it's like first thing that comes to my mind is samosa chaat because i'm all about street food and chaat and chatpati chutney so that comes to my mind it like really <laughs> satisfy my soul okay lovely lovely and what about the places that you travel to um what are what are your favorite destinations so to get on a plane so i think when i think about food because i mainly travel for food and like you know locations but also for food mainly so jaipur because i was brought up in jaipur and i started eating a lot of chaats in jaipur <laughs> so that's how i started loving chaats so much like street food also bangkok because i find the best vegan food there it's like you cannot even tell how You know if it's vegan or it's like actual chicken so right. it's like so amazing Miami Paris New York London everywhere I think I travel for food you lovely <laughs> lovely well we know definitely what's not on the menu today <laughs> but what is on the menu is obviously some kind of street food that combines a lot of oh asian flavors because yes. of bangkok today What are we I'm going to cook obviously she love chaat right so let's take yeah. the chaat so I'm going to make the chaat patty but with artichokes okay. I'm going to use Jerusalem artichoke normally you use potatoes but I'm going to use Jerusalem artichoke wow. so we're going to have patty Jerusalem artichoke crusted with almonds okay Whoa. completely that vegan that sounds amazing yeah <laughs> and then with the chaat patty we're going to have the samosa now samosa what I have done we taken the charcoal infused with the the samosa dough Whoa. So it's a black charcoal samosa Ooh. stuffed with tofu in Asian flavor. Very Instagrammable. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very Instagrammable. Sounds amazing. I cannot wait. 
can't so, wait either. Let's start then. Let's start. Let's start let's the cooking then. Let's get started. Then. Let's yeah. get started. Well, while that pan heats up, let's take a short break and we'll be right back on Colors Food Trail. Welcome back to Nutridor, Abivia presents Colors Food Trail, brought to you by our hygiene partners Clorox, in association with Moksh Restaurant and Lounge, Miso Salt, Pinar and Arm and Hammer Baking Soda. Well, before we cut into the break, we had a very interesting <laughs> challenge for you, Chef Abs. Um, you are going to make us now a samosa chart. Charcoal samosa chart. Charcoal samosa. samosa chart. Stuffed with tofu. Stuffed yes. with tofu. And you're, and you're going to... And the artichoke tikki. Oh my god, this is just Sounds absolutely insane. Delicious. Yes. And it's gonna be amazing. Let's start with that one. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make the patty. Okay. okay for the patty, okay. the pan is already hot. Just gonna add two teaspoons of oil. Right. This is a vegan oil, by the way. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Isn't all oil <laughs> vegan oil? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All of them are vegan, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna add some chopped onions, some garlic. Ooh, love some garlic. Yeah. Some ginger. I'm learning. I'm learning here. Just this smell is enough to take you back home. Yeah. Right? Just this ginger, oh, garlic, God. onion smell. Oof, I love it. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to add a couple of masales, which is a turmeric, chili, some coriander, some garam masala. Oh yes, of course. garam masala. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the jhan of chaat. <laughs> I mean, also the chaat masala chaat is the most masala, sour. Chaat masala, of course, yeah. Not the real the jhan of chaat. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to saute this. Okay. Wow. Smells so Smells so divine. Right now. So divine. I could just eat that masala right now. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to add some artichokes. I'm, I'm using the Jerusalem artichoke and also a bit of Ooh. potatoes because normally you use potatoes, so I'm just replacing it with artichoke. Right. Okay, I'm just going to mash it to paste. Oh, wow. So I'm just going to mix this one and this. I'm going to add a bit of green peas. Ooh, yum! Green peas, like that for that crunch. Yes. In the and a sweetness, green sweetness, peas and sweetness, yeah. yeah. And the carrot. Greater carrot. Carrot. This is very colourful, I must this admit. Is. Yeah, she loves rainbow. She said she loves rainbow. The colors, all right? the colours. All the colours. So, do you have any interesting uh, stories? Since you love so much street food yeah. and you've travelled around the world, what are some of the most interesting street foods you've eaten and what crazy stories do you have from the streets? So, as I told, I love street food from Jaipur because mm -hmm. I was brought up in Jaipur and I love it because when I was little, my mom used to make on my birthdays a lot of pani puri chaat, you know, samosa oh, wow. chaat. So it's like a memory more than, you know, like I love street food. It's more like a memory and when I think of street food, I just feel so homely. Yeah. And that's why I call it my comfort food because I feel so comfortable and I love it because it reminds me of my mom. So I used to eat like pani puri literally every day. <laughs> I used to have like pani puri, you know, those competitions with my cousins, with my sisters. So that just reminds Reminds me of that time. That's so amazing. That's, that's why that I just love amazing. it. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, the patty mix oh. is ready. Yay! Okay, so what I'm gonna do now? I'm wow. just gonna make a patty out of it. So I'm gonna add miso pink Himalayan salt, mm -hmm. okay. which has lots of minerals. It is definitely a healthier option. Yes, it is. Yeah, absolutely. And tons has been said, even if you look it up online, about how pink Himalayan yeah. salt is good for the body. It's mild. It still has that wonderful flavor. And it's just so full of minerals and goodness, right? Also, it doesn't get you bloated. So, if you feel your face is bloated, this is like a very good option. Really? Yes. Interesting. Well, <laughs> miso Himalayan pink salt all the way. <laughs> yeah. So, this is our mix is ready. So, let's make a patty. I'm just going to make it mash. So it gets a nice shape. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Wow, this looks oh, amazing. It looks so good. I'm dying to have a little bit of the filling I know. right now. That's what I do. Like you know, when you're making chaat, you just take a little bit, and that's what I feel like doing right now. I mean, if you smell it, you can get the smokiness from the artichoke. From the artichoke. artichoke. Yeah. Now okay. the potatoes don't give you that smokiness, and that's why I added that element to it. Point to be noted. Okay. Yes. 
Wow, this smells really, really It really amazing. does. It yeah, really does. It so smells good. great. And you know what's even better is that it doesn't look so difficult. It looks yeah. quite achievable. I feel like I've learned already by seeing you. So I can actually go home and try a little chart. I'm going to hold you up to that. You know that, right? Ritu? Okay. You can't just like say this stuff and then not do it. Oh my God. I'm we'll follow show. up on Instagram. Definitely. <laughs> so I'm going to make a small patty. And we're just going to coat it with almond. Wow. Lovely. So why almonds though, chef? I mean... I mean, almonds gonna give the crunch right. oh, to yeah. the the patty, and it's gonna hold the patty together. Obviously, it's sweet as well. Is no, it? I think it's no. not much sweet. Yeah, but it's gonna little sweet. But obviously, the green peas are there inside. Yeah. But the, the main point is crunch. the crunch. The okay. crunch. Yeah. yeah. The crunch. So hot oil in the pan Whoa. is how we start. Yes. A little excited. bit of oil. I'm gonna fry these patties. Well, there's a second part to this, isn't there? Yes. There's something else that we're going to be cooking up too. Oh yeah. We're going to cook samosa, which is, Lovely. as I say, with yes. the charcoal Lovely. and the stuffing going to be Lovely. with the tofu. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah. So a I replace the paneer to tofu. Okay. That's nice. amazing. Sounds so yum. So while these lovely tikis brown, yes, uh, we've been set a challenge, Ritu, okay, between yeah. you and I. Since we're doing none of the hard work of cooking of or chopping or mixing <laughs> or any of that, <laughs> yeah. Um, what I have with me right now is oh, Oreo cookies. So I'll just eat it. My no, own. no, of course not. What we have to do is the cookie face race. So we have to place the cookie on our foreheads and then, what? without using our hands, gently nudge the cookie into our mouths. Are you kidding me? No. Like, well, the good right. thing is, the Wait. good thing is, there's at least a cookie at the end of it. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> if we win this race. Okay, okay ready? I'm down to try this. Okay, done. Okay, here. Yeah. This, this is going to be more a comment on our noses than anything oh else, God. really. <laughs> I'm okay, ready? You. <laughs> oh. So do I have oh to pick god. it up? Oh my god. Okay, yeah. I don't want to waste a good cookie. I know, right? I don't want to waste it. No. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> we look like such mean. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, I, I think the answer is shaking. I got it. I cannot believe. I got it. What? Oh no. <laughs> Was I almost there? Mm. Oh man. How did you manage it? I'm a pro at this. This is what you do in your spare time, Ritu. Is that all right? Well, now we have a couple of cookies full of foundation. <laughs> if anybody would like them. <laughs> and the patties and are the ready. And the patties are ready, yes. And the patties are ready. Okay. Oh, wow. oh my god. And so we have chocolate biscuit all over our faces. Thing, <laughs> the next thing that we're going to make is a samosa mix. Lovely. Okay. Okay. So, let me get the samosa mix things. Ooh, I'm oh so dying to just... Like, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So dying too. Okay. Now let's do the tofu mix. For that, oh, pan is already hot. A teaspoon of oil. Vegan oil. Oh. Yeah, vegan oil. Vegan oil. Vegan yeah. oil. Yeah. I mean, that's the discovery for you today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try vegan oil. Onions. You know, speaking of uh, discoveries, chef. Yes. Um, we have just discovered, and research has shown us. Studies reveal that. Apparently, Ritu Pamnani was cheating on the cookie face race. No! As a punishment, she's going to eat the entire plate of them. I'm happy to, but <laughs> you're going to eat that now. <laughs> now. Now that it's got makeup all over it. All the makeup, sweat and yeah, everything. Not there. cool, Ritu, not cool, <laughs> alright? Well, the point not... was to eat the cookie and I had it in my mouth. So yeah, I win. So now garlic, onion, ginger is already started cracking. I'm going to add some the oh, Asian flavour, the nice. garlic chilli sauce. Lovely. This is life. Yes. Oh, I love it. Love it. Uh, tofu, I'm going to add it now. Sure. Okay. Wow. Bit of spring onions. Nice. Now I really feel like it's my favourite chart. Spring onions with chilli paste. So I'm going to finish this with Nizo Himalayan Pink Salt. Of course. Absolutely. Healthy option. Just gonna keep oh. it a little low because the chili sauce already has in a the saltiness. A little of bit of salt in it. Soya. Right. Smells yeah. amazing. It I really can just does. like take a spoon and just eat it right now. Okay. So that Super. mix is ready now. I just cool it down. Okay. okay. Right. And earlier I have made the uh, dough for the samosa, which I'm gonna take it. So what I have done, I have taken the charcoal. Wow. Mix with the flour. 
and made these nice where black. Where do you? How do you do that? Like, where I where do you even know. get cooking charcoal? Or or is there it's such called, a thing? Yeah, it's, it's called activated charcoal. Right. Normally, you, you get those tablets in yeah, the market. Yeah, yeah. They are processed one. Right. This is for cooking only. It's activated right. charcoal. Right. And it's really healthy. So and also. But does it, it have any taste to it? No, it has earthiness. But it won't give you an overpower any okay. food. Mm. It more for a fancy color thing at the same yeah. time the healthy option. Okay. Right. All right, the samosa is very Whoa. easy to fold. Some people think it's complicated. You just do like this, do like that, so then yeah, do it's like easy. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just like fold it, hold it here. Okay. It's half moon shape. Then you fold it, fold over. Get these two ends like together. Like a little waffle cone. Oh. Yes, shape. cone. Okay. Press it so make sure that the ends are nicely closed. This mixture looks so amazing. And it smells even better. So amazing. <laughs> it reminds me of Thailand. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit, making sure that. Now this is the tricky part. Yeah, this yeah, is the tricky part. So the most tricky part. I go halfway here. Okay. Okay. Then the second part, I close it, and I pull it over. Ooh. Right. And I do it this way. That's new. So you that's flip it, new shape, flip yeah. it on its head. New, new shape, shape. <laughs> yeah. Right. A, flip it, new shape. Because normally the other samosa that you see in the market, of course, they are different. Vegan shaping. has to be different. Yeah. <laughs> we have to be different. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna fry these samosas. Okay. I have to say, I don't think I ever would have dreamt that I'd be eating a black, black samosa. samosa. Yeah. <laughs> Is such a Let alone <laughs> thing to flaunt in front of like friends that you've learned new. So yeah, cool. yeah. Definitely very Instagram friendly. Definitely. Must be said. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fry this for three to four minutes. Once Lovely. it gets crispy, okay. we're gonna start plating for our rainbow chat. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> While we let these samosas fry, how about you guys take a quick break as well and be right back. Welcome back to Nutridor, Abivia presents Colors Food Trail, brought to you by our hygiene partners, Clorox, in association with Moksh Restaurant and Lounge, uh, Pinar, Niso Salt, and Arm and Hammer Baking Soda. Now, all the food is ready. Yes. All that's left to be done is to really plate it and taste it, right? So, let's get to it, Chef. Let's get it. So, I'm gonna make first one is a rainbow chart. So, I'm using this, which is in a beetroot and coconut Yogurt. Wow. Ooh, which is a green I vegan. love that color. Yeah. How'd you get? Oh, from beetroot. Yes, from the beetroot. This That's is your mango coolie. The effort that goes into I plating know, it's is so just precise. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, we were ready to eat it straight <laughs> off the pan. So <laughs> this is in a mint chutney. Oh, I love mint chutney with like samosas and like tikis, like my favorite. Ah. I could have never thought like we could have done something like rainbow with chutneys. It's so amazing. It's beautiful. It looks so it's cute. It's truly beautiful. So we're gonna have like unicorn chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Name that. <laughs> and that's good old fashioned Emily chutney. Yes, that's Emily chutney. Yum. Okay. Just that. when you th think it couldn't it's get done. any prettier, right? <laughs> Wow. I can imagine myself doing this at home. Look at that. Oh, wow. So a little spider's pretty. web. It's like a flower. Still not finished. It's still, still not, not done. Finished. Okay. 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 So you can imagine how much effort we take in our you restaurant. Put. For and each and every how dish. How we eat like so yeah. quickly. Yeah. Really, it takes like three minutes to eat this thing <laughs> and so much time to put it together, right? Whoa. This oh, it's is beautiful. like a masterpiece. Yeah. So beautiful. It's like a painting. Yeah. And this is what Moksh is all about. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Ah. So that's your tikki. So I'm going to do Ooh. samosa. That looks amazing. So meanwhile, you like do the samosa, we can have this, right? We can, right? <laughs> right? Right? You can, but just wait for a minute. Look at the magic. Whoa. 
It is like a painting. Yeah, yeah it really is. You it are. really is. With food. It's yes. street food art. Absolutely. <laughs> By abs. So mint chutney and now the mango coolie. Wow, I love the art. Like, do you like? Like DNA. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine this in your head first. No, it just comes out. I mean, it just oh. I just I just do it when. Wow. When I start cooking things, you know, it just comes in my comes head and I, yeah, it comes from heart and I that just, is so nice. I just finish it off. I love the colors. Who could I was just going to say, I was just going to say, I mean, you said rainbow and you couldn't get any more rainbow exactly. than this. And these are not the only plating I'm doing. The next one I'm doing is a carrot cake. Whoa, wow. I'm so excited. Wow, that looks so good. What is that? Art. That's not of course, but <laughs> this is an roh abza. Okay. So the carrot cake with roh abza, and wow. I'm gonna have an, a rose gulfi with that one. I made gulfi. this uh, vegan rose gulfi wow. for you. All right. Wow. So this is my delicious. rose gulfi. Delicious. Looks so pretty. Look at the color. Yeah. So nice. You really couldn't have asked for more. <laughs> I feel like this oh, is like my. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. Wow. That looks so good. Can we have the dessert and first? And what is that? Coconut. Lovely. That looks really nice. I love the way you like do the plating and stuff. It's so nice. So artistic. It's so very, very, very artistic. Nice. Thank you. Like a real art. That's your food. Really Yay! wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Can I wait to dig in? <laughs> dig in. You're the you're the guest of honor. Okay, let's your start. Your first. Let's start with this, including all the chutney. Do it. Yeah. <gasps> Taking all the chutneys. Mm. Unbelievable, huh? Oh my god. The taste of ginger, garlic, this is unbelievable. And the artichoke. <laughs> artichoke and it's vegan? Yes. This is amazing. No, amazing. Like, amazing. So, but you've so. got to try those black samosas. You have to try this. <laughs> so meanwhile, I'm going to try black samosas. This is... That so can looks I take really it? really delicious. I'm sorry with all your art. Ah, it's but okay. Yeah, you okay. <laughs> <laughs> looks really, really amazing. Oh my god. No way this is vegan. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> I mean, thank you for this. I mean, your face says everything. I mean, I've mm. learned something and I've, I'm like on cloud nine oh right now. Oh my god. I love the Thai flavors. Unbelievable. It takes me back to Bangkok and it's in a samosa form. <laughs> How in do you charcoal. In charcoal. In charcoal, yeah. That's in charcoal. charcoal. In charcoal. So good. But you did say that you wanted to start with the dessert. But you Let's just save. forgot, so <laughs> because I'm saving the best for the last. So let's try the carrot cake. You can take the kulfi. Okay. Just do it together with the kulfi. Okay. I'll oh, try my wow. best. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking kulfi with the carrot cake. Lovely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Out of words. No, I cannot speak. It is so good. If only, if only there was a way for our viewers to actually be tasting this alongside watching it. That would be fantastic, I'm wouldn't it? I'm in shock right now. This Incredible. is so amazing. I'm sorry, I'm digging it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. You guys have to try. I mean, you obviously know. Oh, this, we but... certainly will. We certainly will. <laughs> but thank you so much, Chef Abs. This is amazing. I mean, the fact that you are able to take us to so many places. Um, through just your food is is just truly something fantastic and thank you for bringing all your wonderful lively energy thank to this set. Thank you for having me. Thank You're you. Amazing. Thank you for cooking Thank you for guys us. and in a moksh, that's what we do. It's the amazing. food that you have seen today, the artistic, the taste, the flavors, this is what we do in moksh and the fusion. Lovely. Everything so is there. Good. And that's what we want you to come back and dine Absolutely. with us. So I have a small voucher and gift for you. This oh is from God. the moksh. Thank Please come so with your friends much. and dine with us. Definitely, I'm not <laughs> gonna miss this for sure. I'm gonna like travel to Abu Dhabi for this. For sure. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for Fantastic. having me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Much. With every passing day, we're finding out more and more about veganism, right? More and more of us are exploring the idea of turning vegan. Well, today you found out how you can make great street food while staying vegan and cook for vegan friends who come over. Well, next week we'll explore another journey, another dish with another exciting new adventure on Colors Food Trail.